Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Now, last time we had a lot of exposition for story. We had quite a few game mechanics introduced to us, including the badge system. So why not go to the badge shop, which should be open now. And let's see what we can get. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Now, this character might not seem important right now, but, uh, you know, why don't you just remember what she looks like? Little heart tail, little red shoes, you know, just saying. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm buying. What kind of badges interest you? Special deals. If you're looking for special deals, you'll find them on that shelf. Otherwise, stand in front of the badge you want and press A. Okay. So you're talking like this shelf? Or this shelf? What shelf are we talking about? Because I think you're just talking about your stock. Power jump. Stomp on a single enemy using lots of attack power. Last stand. Drop damage Mario receives by half when he is in danger. Piercing blow. Deliver damage that pierces enemy defenses. Last stand partner. Drop the damage your ally takes by half when in danger. An unsimplifier. Makes action commands hard, but earns more star power. We're probably not going to use that one. Not for a while. Maybe I'll experiment with it later. Uh, but we did get a badge, and now I kind of want to check to make sure I know which, which one it is. Okay, Power Smash. We have 3 BP. We can equip Power Smash. Wear this to use Power Smash. 2 FP are required to use this attack, which lets you whack an enemy with great power. Wearing two or more of these badges requires more FP for the move, but increases the attack power. We'll go ahead and put that on. And then I think we'll get Power Jump to go with it. It's only 35 coins for Power Jump. You need one BP to use this badge, is that okay? Yeah, sure. And then, how much is Last Stand's badge power? One, okay, yeah, let's get that too. Because I'm thinking I want to do something silly. Something I almost... It's certainly possible, but I never do this early in the game. But, uh, why not give it a shot? I got recovery items. I got new badges. Why not come over here? Most importantly, I just saved. Why don't we come over here and challenge this guy? See what this is about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Vishnail, head of the robbers. It's 10 coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. So this is something that I almost never do at level one, and I'm, I have a feeling there's probably a good reason for it. Gambella. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. So Goombella's not going to be able to do much for us. She'll be able to feed us recovery items. But let's go ahead and give Power Smash a try. That took off 4 damage. Goombella, you are going to be my shield. Uh, in that case, why don't you defend? And if I need to, I can always use Sweet Treat. And that's a stylish move right there. And we get all our FP back. Perfect! So a stylish move, like I said in the last episode, will um, give you more star points than normal. Why don't you just keep defending, because this is actually working out. Um, Power Smash 
you hit the button right after you hit the ground. And um, as you can see, Mario does flips. Most of the smash attacks have that kind of timing where, where uh, Mario will do flips. And the higher ranks of Power Smash, he will do more flips. This is actually going much better than I thought it would. Uh, you just keep defending. And now I'm going to use normal hammer attacks. And do I get the stars? Nope. So as you can see, you can miss that. Oh no, I missed. Good. Huh, that hurt. You have no chance of beating me, trust me. So you better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. Sometimes it's best to run. Yeah, we're not running. Risk it for the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. It's actually gonna be kinda hard for me to miss this attack. Hammer! Go! Man, it would have been poetic justice if I had, though. And just like that, Gus is down and we get 22 star points. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? And now he's gone for good. And we're going to go heal. So yeah, normally I don't do it this early. I wait till I like have Cooper so that I have a partner who can do something besides defend. And Cooper, spoilers, is our next partner. Um, but Power Smash and hitting, getting my FP recovered actually really carried the day there. Go ahead and let me rest. And I'll be all better soon. I guess I should have read that. I can't remember if I read that before or not. It's just typical NPC in dialogue. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Yeah, I shall say that every time. I'll read it next time, if I remember. I guess we can see Podley since we're here. Hey, Podley. Podley? There we go. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's place, a humble little cola shop where... Folks, mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. Good enough. Thanks, Podley. Ellipses. Ellipses. Can't you take a hint, pal? Ellipses means scram. Don't talk to me. Oi. I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed so sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. And you look... Fancy. Can I have this? And this is the Skull Stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. It is so fabulous, I wish to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. Ah, what are you doing, sneaking up on a person as he sings most jovially? Who, me, you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling this is not the last I'm going to see of you, and I probably will decide on a better voice for you at that time. Anyway, now that we are healed up, let's go explore this part of Rogueport. We couldn't do this before? Now we can. This is East Rogueport. This is the tough of Ishnel and his crew of Robos. The east side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. I don't. It's locked from the inside. The Trouble Center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. So, the Trouble Center. I'm out of the office. Please come again. Uh, this is where pretty much all your side quests are going to happen. Remember Koopa Coot? This is basically the Koopa Coot of this game. And uh, we can't do much else here because this is locked. And we can't get anywhere else. So that was exciting. That's why it's usually not worth it to come down here until uh, after the first chapter. That's when the trouble center is open and you can do a bunch of other stuff. Oh, 
Uh, I actually forgot to show off something, and I'm going back up to do it right now while I'm thinking about it. I've been meaning to bring this up, but there's been so much story and dialogue to read that I actually haven't had a really good chance until now. Let's go talk to Professor Frankly real quick. More importantly, this trash can. If you miss a tattle on any enemy at the end of the chapter, you can pick it up from this trash can. So there are no missable tattles in this game, at, at least if you keep checking the trash can. Now, if you miss an enemy in chapter one and you don't get it out of the trash can in chapter two, by the end of chapter two, it will be replaced, I believe. So you can't get it at all. So it's always good if you feel like you did miss a tattle, Go ahead and check that trash can before you continue on with the story. And it's real obvious when you're going to go to the next part of the story because you will be going to another part of town. Ah. I think we all know what we have to do here. Smash! <laughs> Bloop! Bloop! Ouch! That hurt! Nice little throwback here. There's always a blooper in the sewers to fight. Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just opes and likes someone's tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Someone with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloop, 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 bloop. He's in a world of hurt. I believe that dialogue actually does change whether you smash or jump on him. Blue, 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 blue. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario. You remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't flee this fight. Yet again. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and put you in front. So you can go ahead and tattle. I can only tattle the blooper. And tattle does have its own stylish command. As you just saw. That's a blooper. And a really super humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy nasty icky things. G-R-O-S-S -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down. And then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax in the house on that nasty, slimy blooper. Alright. I'll take care of the nasty blooper for you, Goombella. Bonk. Snap. Go ahead and swap. I'll go back in front. You can. Oh, I thought you could. I was about to say you can target. Blooper with a jump, but no, you cannot. They made sure of that. Alright, there goes one tentacle. There goes the other. After one more turn. Alright. Oh, I didn't notice this. I really need to pay more attention to my audience, especially when they drop spotlights on me. To be fair, he was actually kind of hard to see. So Shy Guys will usually go up and affect the stage in some way. And they don't always attack you. Sometimes they will go up there and they will hurt the enemy somehow. Spotlights will always do some damage. Um... They can also affect other things like the plumbing that will wash away debuffs. Or they can freeze everything. <laughs> so Shy Guys are actually probably one of the most versatile of your audience members that will come and attack. I could actually really use this mushroom. Got the hit. I'm never really good at the roulette. As you can see. Ouch! We got inked. That's okay. He's going down now. You are certainly no Gus. You're not even worthy of Gus's boot. 
and another 20 star points. Getting close to our first level up. Blah, blah. And for some reason, all bloopers die and go to heaven. Not sure what's up with that. But uh, since we can't do anything with this, fortunately, these platforms are here so we can continue on. It's real easy to find out where you're supposed to go. Just look for where you have abilities to go. It's very Metroidvania-ish. And with that, we begin chapter one. Chapter one. Castle and Dragon. Here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario! The start of our adventure! This is completely awesome! Yes, it is, isn't it? Grasslands, forest, meadows... What, how's that song go? That's a big shadow. Whoa! What was that? Oh! Is that a... Wow! Mario, look! Well, it was named Castle and Dragon. There is the Castle and Dragon. Totally incredible! I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy! We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. <laughs> okay. You're very excited for somebody who just saw a dragon fly overhead. Can I just point that out? Mushrooms, anything in the tree? Nothing in the tree. I don't know where all the secrets are, and I'm not sure if there are hidden blocks in this game. I'm gonna have to look into that. I don't remember if there are hidden blocks the same as there were in Paper Mario. I have a feeling there might be, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, Goombella, you attack first. Very nice. And then I'll follow up and hammer the Spike Goomba. And then we will never see what the Poison Mushroom does, please. The Poison Mushroom is awful. Awful. It is the worst. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you, because hopefully we will we'll never see it. You got close call when Mario's in danger causes enemies to sometimes miss. Uh, Poison Mushroom, if you happen to match up three of them, cuts your FP, HP, and audience in half. It is the worst. Also, in this game, enemies can use items. So when you see an enemy with, like, a fire flower or a mushroom, you kind of want to kill them before they can use it. They will also carry badges, which later in the game, you might get the ability ability to steal from. Sometimes if you destroy an enemy holding the item, you will get that item. Usually you won't, but sometimes you will. But yeah, you can actually steal badges from enemies in this game and items, but most of the time, you're going to use it to try to steal badges. Now, I have to say, this is probably the first Paper Mario I ever owned. Uh, when I was a kid, I played Super Mario RPG. We rented it from uh, Blockbuster back when, you know, you could rent games at Blockbuster. It was so close to a level. Um, but I never owned it. Never got too far in it, but I thought it was fun. I played the Paper Mario wrong when I was at college. And to be perfectly honest, that ROM didn't age well with time. That was about as good as it's ever going to get. It's not a great ROM. Uh, for some reason, it just does not work well with Nintendo 64 emulators. But when I got out of college and I got a GameCube, I picked up the Thousand Year Door because I really enjoyed 
the first two Paper Marios, and it was gr or Paper Mario and Super Ma Mario RPG. And uh, this is the one that I fell in love with. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself like wondering what to do, just press X and use my title ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. Yes, I I know about your title ability. And uh, obviously we, we're not able to get that badge. We need another ability from another partner. So we're just gonna have to remember that it's there. There are a lot of you. Uh, how do I wanna handle this actually? Hmm. We're gonna take some lumps here. I need to wipe out at least two of you probably. And they should probably be the ones between me and spike because you do have to attack in line in most cases like mario cannot just walk past an enemy to hammer them he's got to get rid of the enemies in front there are exceptions to this rule but we need badges for them and we don't have them not to worry we only took one damage we're fine and this will give us a level up it's just like Paper Mario will heal us completely and replenish all our all our uh, HP, FP, and star power. Level up! And just like Paper Mario, you can choose your, your HP, your FP, or your BP. Now, I don't believe that BP is as broken in this game as it is in Paper Mario, but I do like to start off with some extra badge points. In Paper Mario, you really wanted to prioritize filling up all your badge points as possible because you could fill in the rest of your stats from there. And in the meantime, you had completely broken badges. Here, not so much. They they did they did address that a bit. There aren't as many HP and FP granting badges as there were in Paper Mario. At least I don't remember there being. Hit the switch. Again, nice little flip book, which I actually think is very cute. I wish we could build more bridges that way. You will be going to the background every every now and then to unlock your way forward. And there's our first star piece. Uh, anything else on this side? Obviously, the background is a 2D plane. You can only go right and left. You cannot go any further back unless you found another pipe. I think there is a couple of things where you can keep going back into the background, but it's pretty rare. I think it may only happen in one chapter. Nope, nothing on this side. Okay. Now, how do normal people get by this place, huh? All right, now we can continue. And it looks like we're coming to our first town. Ooh, item get! Give me item. Thank you. You got a fire flower. Attacks all enemies with fireballs and burns them. That would have been useful exactly one fight ago. And our first town, Petalberg. Welcome, travelers. Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalberg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yuppity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So, it's called a hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm. Nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. And old people know things. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Bella is snarky and polite. I love it. There's the... Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and rest. This 
good sir, isn't in. Thanks, I didn't know that. I thought I'd just wander in this house and sleep in your bed for free. Rooms are five coins per night. Care to stay tonight? Sure, I'll take a rest. Really? Are you quite sure? All right, I did... Never mind. I did just level up and get all my stats back. What am I thinking? I don't need to... I don't need to drop money on... On this... House? All right, let's go check out the... Let's go check out the item shop then. Just like Paper Mario? Different items... Sh or different cities sell different things. Fire flower, pile block, attacks all ground-bound enemies. Actually, I want to pick up one of these. It's five coins for a pile block. Would you like one? Yes. Thank you so very much. Might actually get two, but I'm going to wait on that. Courage shell gives your partner courage to boost his or her defense. This is basically Cooper's attack from the last game. Mr. Softener softens, softens up enemies for a bit, decreasing their defense. And honey syrup, a sweet snack, restores 5 FP. Let's go ahead and get one of these. And six points. Now, let's check out the points list. At 10 points, we get a mushroom. At 20 points, an ice room. At 30 points, a super shroom. At 50 points, a thr thunder rage. 70 points, a shooting star. 100 points, a gold bar. Life shroom, ultra shroom, jam and jelly, and gold bar times three. Uh, most of those items are actually really good. You might be wondering what the gold bar is. The gold bar is a store of wealth. Uh, you can buy them for 100 coins a bar, I think. It might be more than that. But uh, basically, the max amount of coins that you can have is 999. So when you hit the max, you go buy some gold bars, you store your coins as items, and then you can sell them back for a little bit less, but you get your money back. Kind of lets you bank money. Hello? Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Mustache. I'm speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with moi. Ew. Are you kidding? Ew. Nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the dork. Oh, oh, oh. Sacre bleu. Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Cherie, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. <laughs> I just had to do that. What do you have to say, little kid? Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rule. rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You damn straight it does. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. I saw a hook tail on your way here. Are you sure? Big old dragon, tail like a hook? Yep, that's the one. Wow, you're super duper lucky I didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. If it seen you, I'm sure it would have gobbled you up like an after dinner mint. It must have been stuffed or thought you looked gross. At any rate, you were lucky. Thanks. All right. Well, I'm going to talk to this bomb -ba and then we're going to call it an episode here. Actually, no. Is this the house I think it is? It is. Look at all this Princess Peach merchandise. Holy crap. <laughs> um, hmm. Are you this game's equivalent of a weeaboo? <laughs> hey, uh, well, come on in, I guess. Door's open. Oh, Hooktail, it lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? No. Creepy. Alright. I'll talk to this ba -bomb. I said, I told myself these episodes were going to be shorter and look at look at this one. Hut, I'm General White. I'm a ba And I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Alright. Well, with a... Gosh darn colorful cast of characters already. God, I love this game. We're going to call it an episode here. I will save that one for next time. We'll explore more of Petalburg and try to find out more about Hooktail and try to figure out how we get to that castle. I have my ideas. I have my ideas. But uh, that will definitely be next time. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you let me know. Give me your likes. Give me your comments. Subscribe for more. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Later.